So people think this place, of course, this place is a place of milk and honey. But the start, the start of which took place, and I think which has taken place with a lot of people is that it's not easy. The road is not easy. We were looked upon, we were shunned, we were without money, we had no work rights, and uh, we went through too many hardships at the beginning of our lives in this country. We'll move this, three, two, one. Oh, and then we'll do one more looking this way. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I want to do one more, maybe um, take it off. Take um, it off. And just hold it. Yeah, yeah, just hold it. No, maybe put it on the one. ground. Yeah. Like this. She knows, she knows. <laughs> I keep watching this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Des, the full name Desmond McCall, an Anglo-Indian. Hi, I'm Geraldine Ann McCall, an Anglo-Indian too. Maybe, uh, maybe let's swap, let's swap, so you, you be here, this. Okay. I'm, I'm and not then the you be that, person. And then, and then you be here. See? Like that? Yeah, just like that, kind of just go like this. And then you... You, you come here, Jerry. And then maybe just do the same thing, kind of just like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. So I was uh, told to go for my education and do my teaching practicals in Kalingpong, which is three hours away from Darjeeling. She went to become a nun and there's where I met her and now she's with another man's son. So we had a long journey and, and uh, I met her when she was 17 years old. So from there onwards, we have been together through thick and thin and through all the difficulties, through all the problems, through all the obstacles, she has stood by me and together we have made it and we have made it so far with only the Lord Jesus Christ as our help. We came to Australia and uh, we, tried, we tried for 40 years to come to this country. People came to our house, house they took money from us they took, uh, so they took all sorts of things from us in terms of money to sell and to give us gold from my mother's hand and gold rings and this, that, that they're going to get us a visa to come to Australia. But in the end, they were all crooked people. So after requesting, requesting, requesting a relative, she brought us here on a visit visa. And then one, I was thinking kind of like this. That one? Kind of, no, 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 uh, this example, kind of like this. So okay, you know, anything, so, whatever you said. So, there were times when we decided uh, let's pack up and go back to India. There were times when we said, uh, when I told my wife, it's enough, let's go back. We can't take this anymore. Because people didn't want to give us anything. We shivered in the cold. We were without food sometimes. We never got to eat properly. And we, we, we were starving days. So life was very bad at the beginning. And that is the truth. So now I'm going to make you guys some lovely noodles, my friend. We shall eat. And we shall be happy. For me, I, I think as a mother, I saw my child actually getting bullied and being an Anglo-Indian in India. And uh, when we moved state, because uh, there were certain family issues that we had to move state. And when we moved state also, he was like, you don't belong here and uh, you you this is not your country you should go back and stuff like that i don't want to be in a place where i know there's no future for my child my child is actually way above more clever but he was actually not given opportunities that uh, like you know he was always marginalized and put aside so that actually gave us like a thing that we need to go we need to go out we need to go out of this place because it's not going to happen 
for the future for my child. Jerry, whether it's dirty or not, don't touch it. Don't touch the food, please. Huh? Yeah, I won't touch the food. Come here. Come here. Come. Come, show your face. Show your face. Hmm. Yeah, it's scared of you. My son was back home. He was, it was COVID time and it was a very difficult situation. He was alone. We, were ma we managed actually to get Aaron across on a student visa as soon as the borders were opened. And then he came through and then he again had to like, you know, change his stream because they were not allowing the stream that he was actually in. And there were like, you know, a lot of hurdles over there. Then he joined a stream that he was actually forced to do, but he did it. And for one year he had to stay as per the lawyer's advice, he had to stay in that stream. And then a lot of money again went out and then he changed back into medicals. And so far it's very good and uh, we have come up a long way. And uh, we thank God, we thank Jesus for like actually being our support and guide because there were times when like we wanted to pack up and go back and we were thinking like, let's take it like, you know, one day at a time then. Here we go for the second this. one. Oh, this yeah. is spicy. spicy yeah, nice. this is for him. Uh, you want some sugar? I'm okay. Okay, done. <laughs> Eat it, don't worry. We serve a mighty God. And that mighty God is going to take us across. And soon we are going to hear good news that everything is going to be okay. My son's visa is going to be extended. We are going to get PR and we are going to stay in this country. And when God opens doors, no man can close. And when he shuts doors, no man can open. Amen. And that's it.